Hello there, my crafty friends. I'm so sorry that I didn't have a video for you on Friday and that today's is so late. Um, partially because my mojo went missing and partially because it's the holidays and just trying to fit in too much and uh, I'm so sorry. I'm here with just a quick card with new product from the new mini catalog. This is the heart to heart bundle and while I can't show you what is in these beauties if you are not currently working with a demonstrator and you would like to have a copy of these catalogs just head on over to my website there is a catalog request there and I will get them out in the mail to you but this is one of the Valentine's love themed bundles and this was the sentiment that started it all. This is from Here's a Card, and it's it says, It's all messy, the hair, the house, the heart, life. Now, the reason that this is coming so late today was because I just wasn't feeling it. I was working with new product and trying to get samples ready for my bingo, which is on Saturday, January 11th, if you are local. Um, so I was working on that and just didn't have any ideas for a video. And then I thought, you know what? This is probably too much information, but I haven't had a shower yet today. And my hair is a mess and my house is a mess and my brother and sister-in-law and nephew are coming to stay with us. So something got me thinking about that sentiment just a few minutes ago and I thought, ha, huh, I've got an idea, so let's run with it. So I have already gone ahead. I've got a lovely lipstick card base. So it's A2 sized, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I have a Whisper White base, which is four by five and a quarter, and I've already run it through with the tufted embossing folder. And now I'm going to take this die. Let me tell you the name of the bundle. It is the Heart to Heart bundle, and they are the Detailed Hearts dies. Now, the first thing I noticed about this is that these are not necessarily fixed together. So they're fixed over here. They're attached, but they are kind of precarious. So you're gonna wanna be just a little bit careful. Now I haven't worked with this product yet. Just popped it right on out of its case and die cut away. So it's interesting already. There are some hearts that cut out and some that do not. So we can keep all of those. And this would be great if you're making a Valentine's Day shaker card, you'd have a ton of hearts. When I thought of this idea, at first I thought of using the stitched heart dies and using this one, but then I thought, that's great, but let's use some new product, shall we? So if you would like to make one of these before you can get your hands on new product, then you can use those dies. Now, that being said, there is never a better time to join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator and purchase the starter kit than during celebration. And this celebration, you get some extra special products. And I will show those to you as soon as I get these out. So you can pop out as many of these as you want. You can leave some in. Totally up to you. So this is part of the Celebration Starter Kit joining offer. You get this Designer Series sampler. It does not have all the DSPs in there, but you get a whole bunch of 6x6 six six sheets of different papers. And then you get this little baby trimmer. It's just the cutest. It's a little guillotine cutter, and it goes up to four and a quarter inches. So you will get that the DSP sampler as well as a stamp set of your choosing and that can be from the mini catalog or the annual catalog just can't be a free celebration item so I was thinking of using now that I've die cut from this I was thinking of using this gorgeous paper but I guess I've already gone ahead and cut it so let's just go with that but that was my plan initially. Maybe what we can do is just have that on the background. That is a lot of lovely lipstick, isn't it? We'll just use a little accent piece of this.
a little trick to adhere these, shall we? So what I like to do is to take my silicone craft mat and just squeeze some liquid glue on there. And then I have a designated sponge dauber that is just for glue. You don't wanna put a ton. And you could actually put, um, let's just do like dots of glue on these ones because they're solid. And then we can focus our efforts on these thin pieces. Okay, now I did the tufted embossing folder, which may pose a challenge in trying to adhere this down. Now for that sentiment, I'm just going to put a heart in the middle and we will use one of those hearts from the stitched hearts dies. I think we'll probably use that one because the sentiment is a little bit too wide for some of the other ones. You can see I haven't even used this sentiment yet. It was one of the ones that drew me to this bundle. And I actually have a fellow Canadian demonstrator to thank for even pointing this one out because it was that sentiment that she pointed out and it, I sold. <laughs> Let's do our sentiment on this piece, shall we? So that gives us the stitching. So I am going to peel this off and put it right on the lovely lipstick card base because I feel like the white is too stark. So this is a good example of when you have an idea, an idea in your head that doesn't quite translate on paper the way you had envisioned it. They can't all be winners. Okay, so luckily everything is still out. I haven't cleaned this off yet. So let's get some more glue out here. Problem. So this is just gonna give us a beautiful tone on tone. Now, if you have pieces like this one that are popping up, not to worry because we're gonna cover that part up. So I'm thinking for this, we are going to heat emboss it in white. I don't want it to be too stark again. If you do have pieces that are sticking up that aren't going to be covered, just add a tiny bit of glue on one part of the heart and that will keep it down.
Okay, I'm so sorry. This video has been quite a bit longer than I anticipated. But again, it's all messy. So sometimes it just doesn't go the way you think it's going to. You could back this on some cardstock just so it doesn't dip down at all because it is DSP on die cut cardstock, but I'm not too worried. Now you could leave it as is, or you could add some ribbon or rhinestones. I think I am going to leave mine as is because this has taken long enough and I want the sentiment to be the star of the show on this card. I'm just erasing a little bit of extraneous adhesive. So there we go. It just needs a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside. So I think on that we'll use a sentiment from in here. Uh, how about you make my life better? A beautiful mixed font sentiment. You know that I love that. So because I'm going to be using lovely lipstick and it is one that stains quite easily, there are two things that I'm going to do. So one is that I am going to stamp it in Versamark first. And then I'm going to ink it up with lovely lipstick. Let's line this up so we know that we're straight. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to wipe it on my chamois. But now I'm also going to stay, take the stamp cleaning pad, which looks atrocious, I know, but it makes such a difference. Now mine is not looking so good. There's little pieces coming off, but look at that. Not a trace of lovely lipstick left. Isn't that amazing? So between the two of them, you will prevent staining. It doesn't work so well on previous staining, but if you use your Versamark first and then clean it with your, the stamp cleaning pad second, you will find incredible results. I promise. Now, one more little thing I wanna do here just because I see the opportunity for it is, oops. There are a few size different hearts in there, and I think what I'm going to do is using Flirty Flamingo. Actually, no. Let's do Melon Mambo. And again, stamp it in Versamark first. Ink it up. Now, in this case, we're going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to stamp it right there. Cute. Okay, so cleaned it off on my chamois, not bad, but now you see that slight bit of pink. All gone. It's magic. Okay, so the colors we used were Lovely Lipstick and Melon Mambo. Now, grab some Snail. And pop this in there. Isn't that gorgeous? So like I said, you could put some kind of embellishments on here. 
multifaceted gems that are part of the, um, oh boy, what's it called? There's Heartfelt, I believe it is. Uh, these are just gorgeous. So we could put some on there. I just want you to see how small they are. My, I have my dye brush and yeah, let's do that. Um, I've got my dye brush and paper piercing tool at the end. So I'm just using a refill because my extra, whoops, take your pick tool is in my car. I had a class at a nursing home yesterday and had it there for that and then forgot to bring it back in the house. Okay, we are going to do five of them because we like odd numbers, right? So I will take my pokey tool and there are a few different shades in here and I would like to get them all. Put that one up there. there are different sizes as well. I believe there are three different sizes. No, oh, I've got a medium. Okay, and one more little puny one. Okay, that adds a little something. I know I said I was going to leave it plain, but these are adorable. Uh, they will make mailing a card a little more of a challenge, but so worth the extra postage. So I wish you the happiest of holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, we'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye.